Stanley, I don't get this. Can you help me? Wait, this is so easy. Why can't you just do this? I can't. That's why I'm asking you for help. Is that your video? Dang, you can't help me now. As you can see, chemical formulas are a key part of understanding chemistry. Unfortunately, it appears that Philip does not know how to do them yet. You don't want to be like Philip, do you? Let's find out how to balance chemical equations. First, we have to keep in mind that during a chemical reaction, nothing is created nor destroyed. This means that the number of elements on the left side of a chemical reaction must be the same as the number of elements on the right side. Remember to keep track of how many of each element you have as you do the calculations. This is very, very, very important. If needed, put a list next to the problem to help you maintain the correct number of each element. For example, here we have a synthesis reaction. A synthesis reaction is a reaction combining two or more compounds, elements, into a single compound. You need to make sure that you have the same number of atoms of the same elements on each side. Na and Cl2 are being combined, producing sodium chloride. Note that Cl2 is a diatomic molecule, meaning that this element always comes in pairs in natural environments. Other diatomic molecules include oxygen, hydrogen, fluoride, nitrogen, bromine, and iodine. You can always remember diatomic elements by the acronym Brinkerhoff, expanded to make B-R-I-N-C-L-H-O-N-F, which include all the diatomic atoms. If you prefer a visual aid, then this might help. There are seven diatomic atoms. Start from oxygen and draw the number seven. Start turning at the halogens and going down to iodine. Add hydrogen at the end and you are done. This compound is ionic. You need the same number of atoms for each element on the same side. Remember that chlorine is a diatomic molecule. So try it again. I think I did it. I think I balanced the equation. Since there are two chlorines on the left, there should be two chlorines on the right. And to balance the right side with the left side, I need two sodiums on both sides. <laughs> this is so easy. I can do the rest of the worksheet now. Hold on. There's more. The second type of reaction is a decomposition reaction, which takes one compound and breaks it up into two or more elements and or compounds. Try balancing this out. Make sure that the number of atoms of each element is the same on both sides of the equation. Don't mess up. I think I got it. Got to add two more hydrogens here. This is already good. This is good. And yeah, two more hydrogens. So easy. Is this? This looks a lot more difficult than the others. Really? Under what kind of equation is this? Philip, this is why you're failing chemistry. That is a single replacement Wait, reaction. Single replacement reactions take place when you have one reactant element or compound containing one element combining with a reactant compound that contains two elements. One thing is replaced on the reactant side of the equation. Try balancing this out. Well, not quite, Philip. I can tell you that you're not even close. The same concept of making sure each side has the same number of elements applies here. However, now you need to make sure which element pairs with which. 
An easy way to remember is by remembering the formula a b plus c equals a c plus b. This formula will help you understand what a single replacement chemical reaction will yield. Remember that if the compound is ionic, charges matter. I think I got it. Since there are the same number of atoms of each element on each side, this is balance. You actually learned something from us. Yes. High five. <laughs> there is still one more type of reaction that you have to learn how to balance. Be careful, this one might be a bit difficult, so pay close attention. A double replacement reaction occurs when both reactant compounds contain two or more different elements. This results in two new compounds, only the elements now have new partners. To make things easier, think of double replacement as this. The first element or compound of each reactant remain in the same position in the product, only the, but only the second half switch places. More specifically, A and C are cation elements of the compound. Thus B and D are anions to balance out the charge. So a double replacement reaction is the exchange of anions of two ionic compounds. I did it again. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. Not you. Now that you have learned how to balance out the four types of chemical reactions, let's do a bonus challenge, shall we? Pause the video for more time. That's how you found the chemical equation. Thanks for watching! Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> Dang it, it was so good. It was good. You just need to speak loud because everyone else speaks really loud. I should follow the chair. Like, actually scream. Oh, I don't want to scream. Stop really loud. Oh. you too. Okay. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. Tell me when you're ready. Uh, what? <laughs> Stanley, wait, you know what kind of case this? Uh, this is what you're feeling coming to you. That is a single replacement Whoa. reaction. Stanley! Alex, how are you? It's a lot more difficult than the others. What kind of equation is it? Take care. Stop laughing! Oh my god! <laughs> This is why you're failing chemistry. <laughs> there should be two chlorines on the right. Oh wait, hold on, I messed up. It <laughs> I did it! I did it! You missed the, finish. You missed the chlorine! Oh, <laughs> okay. What kind of reaction is this? I wonder. Wait. <laughs> you're supposed to say, well, this looks harder. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to, like. You don't want to be like Philip, do you? Let's find out how these are going Wait, Gordon? Hmm. Mess up. Can you hug me? Philip, what do you think? Oh my god! I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. She started it. Okay, he's not laughing.